hello everyone welcome back in this lecture we are going to learn how we can install the empty putty if i give a brief about the empty putty and the putty putty is a software basically used to connect the server or call you can say it remote system while empty putty is also a software where we can connect multiple server at a one time so there is that advantage let's say in the putty if let me show you there currently we have the installed putty if I, if i have a putty the currently if i open the putty i can give here one host name and i connect can, i can connect one host name at a one time but if we use the empty putty we can connect the multiple host name multiple host at one place at one time so let's see what are the process of the installation process so we are going to install this into the three step first step is we are going to install the putty we are going to install the empty putty and we are going to configure the empty putty okay so i have already installed the putty in the previous classes if you have not seen it so please go and watch the video still i am going to show you process how to installation of putty so let's go to a step 1 to installation of putty for that you have to just write here the putty download go into google chrome and type putty download you go to above link just download the putty one here you will get the according to your windows it whether it is windows is 64 or 34 most of the case it is 64 so download the it the software once software is download just you can see software is downloaded now just double click on it it will ask for installation go to next this is already uh, uh, this is already installed with uh, my system so it is not getting installed it will ask for the which location basically you want to install so you have to go to and install it if you have not seen if you if you want to see the how what are the process of installation go to my the previous video and just write the putty installation first install the putty so you have to complete the installation of putty if you please go to my previous video and see i will also give the link in description of this video to installation of putty first install the putty <clears throat> once inst put it install as this is already installed in my system if you uh, no cancel cancel okay cancel you can see already my put is installed if you it is installed it will be look like that and it will be look like that you can click on open it will open it okay now second step is to installation of empty putty so we have to go to google and have to click on empty putty installation empty putty installation it will come like that just click on here it will come like that let's go to download there will be a two installation package non install package you can download any but i will prefer to go to installation so that i can show you the installation steps you can see it is downloaded now click on open it will ask for the install for me or install for all users it is recommended to do go for the install for me only now it will ask for the in which location basically you want to install so you can install it to any location it is up to your convenient i i want to install it into this location uh because i don't want to install in c drive but you can take anywhere okay so let me let me write here let me okay this is the location where i want to install now go to next this is the name that we are going to use click on next and click on next and click on install now it is installed and if if you go to the windows you can you will going to see see the empty putty if you click on open it will came like that if you if you double click that it will came like that here it will ask for putty location so here you have to give now 
second step is completed first step is the installation of putty we have done now second step is installation of empty putty we have done now third step is configuration of empty putty so once you click on double click on it or open it it will ask for the putty location so we have to give the location where our putty is present we have to give the location while installing the putty we have to give a location so for that most of the cases it will be like that it let me show you it will be like that if you generally install it it will be in the program file in the in the program file we have a, a we have a folder called putty and you can go it go there but i have installed into a different location so this will be my location the under the under the putty you will get the ditched all files inside it okay you have to select the putty one p u double t putty one okay application file so let's select this let's select this let me go inside that okay let's select this from here itself let me go okay let me write here okay if you go just select this application and click on open now click on ok now it will come like that now it is totally configured now it's time to connect the server and how we can connect the server for that just click on here if you want to categorize the server into different different you can create the folder like that i can write the folder name as a, this is my the first first set if you want to another create a folder you can create like that second set okay so you can add few server inside this folder you can folk you add few server inside this folder because <coughs> uh, because it will be helpful to categorize the thing first thing into this second thing into this and again so much so many folder you can create and you can add the server it is up to you now let's add a few server inside the first server set okay for that you have to click on this and click on add server here you have to give the all the things that is the ip address is all things so for that i have the ip address this ip address so i will copy this ip address here in the server name this is something the SSS login so i am going to give the port number as 22 username i can give data i have have that is the r -E. and the password that i have i am going to give here but it is not recommended to give the password but you can give okay because it is encrypted so before i have given the password you can click on tick and click on okay now you, you can double click on this it will connect your server. you can see now it is directly connected to server and you can do anything you can do you can do you can do you can do ls minus ldr anything you can do okay if you want to add if you want to add one more server we can again you can go again click on this and click on add server again write the host num host name and uh, sss login and whatever the login you want to perform the port number again again here here is the display name you can change it is up to you let uh, here i have given the ip address itself but you can change any right anything okay username password again click on okay it will connect it okay again if you want to uh, write uh, add few more server inside this that click and on that and click on add server again give here the ip address again click on try to log in that if let's see let's here i am to want to something like that this is the this is something like that linux linux server under prod okay this is i am something that Linux server prod i am anything name you want to give at per your convenience so that you can understand here you have to give the username that is the Artivari my for myself that is the I am um, you have to give the password that is the I am writing and click on take and click on ok now it is connected let's click on you can see the Linux server prod is coming like that now ok something it is access denied ok let's so in this way you can 
try to log in. So maybe I have re written the wrong password. That may, may be reason. So this is the way you can try to connect your server. You can see I am able to connect the server. Okay. So this is the all way where we have installed the empty putty. The in the file the installing the empty putty. First step is install the putty. Second step is the install the empty putty. Third step is the configure the empty putty. While configure the empty putty, what you have to do? In the putty location, you have to give the location of the putty. We have to go to the putty and you have to select this putty. Okay. In ideal case, you will you will find that thing inside this program file. And the program file it will be inside. Here there will be a folder called putty and you will get the all thing that thing. Okay. So hope you have enjoyed the thing things. And if you have any doubt, you can comment me, you can send me a mail. I am happy to reply you. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe for more informative video. Thank you. Thank you all.